Hello everyone, this is Gorax with another Dragonair Silence Good video. Today I want to show you 8 teams of which 4 are free to play friendly that can deal with Chief Challenge Quasitia. During my runs I will not be using any mythical equipment and my gear will not be optimized. If you have mythic equipment or gear with better stats you will do much better than I did. Also, my Psychic Core is not maxed out, as you can see on the attached picture. I went over the skills of the boss in previous videos, so I will get straight to it and show you the strategy against this rather annoying boss. Quasitia pulls in your heroes with her battle skill, which she casts twice in a rotation. Depending on the amount of the heroes in the back row, it might take just two rotations to pull in everyone. You can counter this mechanic by correct placement and a lot, and I mean a lot, of resistance on your support. As you could see, my psychic core includes 50 resistance, and I build my support with over 300 resistance, and there is still a chance of him being pulled in. So the fight is rather random. It is rather hard to hit that resistance, so you might consider just ignoring it and playing around it. If you do, Make sure your supports is the first one pulled, as she will pull in at the exact order so you can keep your damage dealer behind her and avoid her ultimate. However, it will be hard to stay alive for 5 minutes if you ignore the pull-ins. Now that you know the strategy, let's talk about the teams and we shall start with the team for those who are looking to do the most damage and compete on the leaderboards. Obviously, the team that will do the highest damage against this, against this boss is the Rook team. However, we need to utilize the full resistance. And as you can see on the first team, I will use that 200 million damage without mythic equipment. And I will use resistance on Ogok. We'll use Everlasting Diamond to get 125 resistance. We'll use the chest with resistance, but we'll also use Rune with accuracy. Ogok has 250 resistance plus 125 so that's 375 resistance and sometimes he's still getting pulled 375 plus 50 from here so we're over 400 resistance and he still sometimes that get pulled now fur buff will be here in the front uh, tanking and healing uh, we can avoid the ultimate of quest ETL with whisk by just jumping over and I'll show you that quickly so when we start the fight we can delay whisk a little bit and jump over so this will mitigate the damage coming from the ultimate and helping whisk survive longer enough. Dargo is in a great place to avoid any of the ultimate damage as well. When it comes to the equipment it's very basic we're gonna use a rook with exclusive artifact and whisk with poison of the swamp. If you don't have rook exclusive artifact you might consider putting Poison of the Swamp on a Rook and something else on Whisk. Dargo will be the Witch's Remain Applier. Uh, the travel time is there, so we need to take that into consideration when we're doing our uh, rotation. We're going to use the Emissary Crown set to get extra hates as well as gain, as gain this damage up here by 20%. Works well. The second set is very similar. The one that gives you crit damage at the moment is very similar. Uh, if you build an Ogok with accuracy, you want to use Cyril set as well to ensure we have this extra buff that is coming from um, his battle skill basically. And through buff with the Horn, it's not going to increase damage of anyone else here but at least whisk, okay? There's no better artifact on fruit buff anyway at this point, so we might put it as well. Um, ancestral protection here, if you're building without resistance, you could consider something else if your fruit buff is dying, but I don't think it, he will die with Ogok. You can also use different healer, really. Ogok is not necessary here, but we want that resistance. Because if you build the same team without resistance, and you can see that here, uh, this is more offensive uh, team, without uh, resistance, the damage drops significantly, okay? Questetia will kill your team because she will pull them. Even though they are behind them, uh, she will still uh, deal a lot of damage through her battle skill. And yeah, also another thing, when she's using the battle skill to pull, which Ogok will resist, Ogok will be taking damage as well. So this Ancestral Protection ta takes a little bit of that damage off. 
Uh, when it comes to skill timings, we start with a basic rotation, but we will never achieve it. Okay, we'll never achieve it as whenever you hit Quisatia, you are getting Richard Speed penalty, so we will never be able to perfectly do it unless you want to manually cast it, but it makes no point. It will only give you a couple millions when it comes to the damage and the mitigation here on the support uh, doesn't matter as well, because again, Richard Speed penalty will be applied all across the team. Now, if you don't have Orgog, but you have Scenario, and uh, again, you're building him with resistance, sorry, uh, you can actually put down Pipe Organ and get a lot of resistance here because he doesn't need accuracy, right? So we're not wasting any stats. We still build him with around 400, but it still can happen. The pull can happen, but the damage drops to around 174 million, which is 26 million less than with Orgog. But for those of you who don't have Orgog, this is a valid option and skill timings again are are really really not important as richard speed penalty will really screw this up and then for those of you who are thinking about running poison with low fear and corin sadly richard speed penalty is really annoying here and although we can do something similar as we did previously with the resistance here it's really hard to deal any damage because corin will get richard speed penalty and he won't be able to refresh all the poison so the team's damage is dropping it's 83 million so rook is still the king still will guarantee you the highest damage on this boss timings here obviously i tried to set them up but it doesn't really work but it works better than most free-to-play friendly teams because we move to the free-to-play friendly teams now, and as you can see, the corrosion team doesn't work. I tried it with resistance and without resistance, and it just doesn't work. Obviously, I'm not using any mythic equipment here. So with equipment, with mythic equipment, you can probably get this team to 22 million, but there are simpler teams that I'm gonna show you way easier teams to do it and since i said as i said there's no better artifact than horn for through buff as we don't really need that extra defense he can survive the whole battle we're using crown of the unclean to give accuracy this is very good free to play friendly artifact i will highly suggest using it and Gegnu with this to survive because Gegnu will be in front of the boss and he will be taking damage from the ultimate. Sadly, as I said, this team doesn't do well, but when we changed the poison team, I tried to do poison team based around applying as much poison through basic attacks to help this new epic hero Dino who's amazing uh, he's like baby Lothier right so that was the idea here and I got to 15 million which is not bad considering again I'm using totally free-to-play friendly artifacts and as I said in my previous video I'm expecting free-to-play players in season four to have one legendary one mythical uh, artifact which should be which is remain if they've been following everyone's guides so that's it and the timings again default because you can't really expect anything to be good here unless you run everyone with resistance but that that doesn't make any sense but I, i've been playing with this team and i've been trying to improve it so if you have twitch and trust me in season four you should have few legendary heroes it might not be twitch but if you have twitch i'm going to show you that this team damage goes through the roof because the twitch power is such good and again same so similar artifacts just the difference is twitch if you don't have twitch you can obviously use corin still and you will be doing around 21 million damage without any mythic equipment so with mythic equipment this will get you around 25 million easily and i'm not even using which is remain in this case right because uh, no one here is really good at applying which is remain so we're only using crown of the unclean so this is no mythical um, artifact whatsoever and we're still doing 21 million very similar to that so as you can see the difference is really minimal and if you're looking for just 22 million this is the team and once again the most important thing is if you want to maximize the damage against this boss avoid any unnecessary deaths and rng it is the best to put enough resistance and in a free-to-play friendly version it is actually quite high if you see here and look at hexandra's 440 plus the 50 okay. overall i think Questitia is definitely one of the hardest bosses for free-to-play friendly players and players who don't have Rook. If you have Rook, you're set, you'll be competing, you'll be getting the most damage here as always with Rook who is totally overpowered and should be tuned down, but free-to-play players can still score 22 million. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.